Recently, University of Oxford announced that their researchers had started testing a vaccine against COVID-19. Here's a look at vaccine candidates around the world. How do vaccines work? These are biological products that when introduced in the body, teach the immune system to identify a disease-causing pathogen and store in memory which fight-back options are the most effective. Some vaccines are live pathogens whose ability to cause harm has been muted but whose essential identifying features have been retained so that the body can learn to recognize it. For example, the yellow fever vaccine is a live weakened yellow fever virus. The BCG vaccine too is a live attenuated strain derived from an isolate of Mycobacterium bovis used widely as a vaccine for tuberculosis. The polio vaccine has the killed virus. Still other vaccines bank on teaching the body to identify the toxins released by the pathogen and act. Vaccines are important because a lot of resources are saved in preventing a disease and not having to treat it. Vaccines have been key to the elimination of once dreaded diseases such as smallpox. For COVID-19, a vaccine is of paramount importance at this stage. Until an effective treatment emerges, there are only two possible courses ahead. Either communities develop herd immunity, a painful process involving high rates of infections and deaths, or a vaccine is made available around the world at affordable costs. What is the new vaccine for which tests have been announced? It was originally intended for another coronavirus, the one that causes MERS. It has been developed at the Jenner Institute and named CHADOX1 NCOV19. In a statement issued on April 23rd, the University of Oxford said, CHADOX1 NCOV19 is made from a virus which is a weakened version of a common cold virus or an adenovirus that causes infections in chimpanzees that has been genetically changed so that it is impossible for it to grow in humans. Genetic material has been added to the CHADOX1 construct that is used to make proteins from the COVID-19 virus called spike glycoprotein. This protein is usually found on the surface of SARS-CoV-2 and plays an essential role in the infection pathway of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus uses its spike protein to bind to ACE2 receptors on human cells to gain entry to the cells and cause an infection. The idea is to teach the body to recognize the spike protein of the virus by first exposing it to CHADOX1 and COV19. Thus, when SARS-CoV2 enters the body, an immune response is mounted based on that recognition. Vaccines made from the CHADOX1 virus have been given to more than 320 people to date and have been shown to be safe and well tolerated. Although they can cause temporary side effects such as a temperature, headache or sore arm, the statement added. There is also an India connection to the vaccine. The Serum Institute of India, one of the largest vaccine manufacturers in the world, is a partner for the production of the vaccine in preparation for the trials. What is the progress of trials? For the trial, 1,102 participants will be enrolled across Oxford, Southampton, London and Bristol. They will be split into the vaccine arm and the control arm. The control will not be a placebo as is usually done, but another vaccine. This will be MEN ACWI, a vaccine licensed for use against a common bacteria that causes meningitis and sepsis. This is being done because CHADOX1 and COV19 causes some side effects such as headache and fever. Using a placebo such as saline control would not produce those same side effects. Thus, the subject would know what he or she had received. It is critical for this study that participants remain blinded to whether or not they have received the vaccine, as if they knew this could affect their health behavior in the community following vaccination and may lead to a bias in the results of the study, reads the Oxford statement. By some estimates, 
Over 40 vaccine candidates are in various stages of development around the world. On March 16, the day the first participant was reported enrolled in the trial for the Moderna vaccine candidate, a phase one clinical trial evaluating an investigational vaccine to protect against COVID-19 began at Kaiser Permanent Washington Health Research Institute in Seattle. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, part of the National Institutes of Health, is funding the trial. The open-label trial will enroll 45 healthy adult volunteers ages 18 to 55 years over approximately six weeks. The trial is to test the safety of the vaccine and its efficiency in actually generating an immune response. According to reports, a commercially available vaccine is not likely to be available for at least 12 to 18 months. Although it is possible that under emergency use, a vaccine could be made available to some people, possibly including healthcare professionals, in the fall of 2020. Another candidate vaccine is being tested by Hong Kong-listed biotech firm CanSino Biologics. The company announced that Phase 1 trials have been cleared and the vaccine is moving into Phase 2 of the trial. Based on the preliminary safety data of the Phase 1 clinical trial, the results of that trial have not been made public. Like the Oxford vaccine, this too is an adenovirus-based vaccine. The double-blind placebo-controlled study in 500 healthy patients will be done in association with researchers from the Academy of Military Medical Sciences Institute of Biotechnology.